The film is for me about discovering the inner self, what you are, because we often live a life with masks and it is about taking off the mask and being yourself and finding your identity and accepting it. This film of ours, Kuch Bhi Ke Alphaz, that's screening at uh, the Indian Film Festival in Stuttgart, it's about, I would say it's about love, it's about uh, identity, it's about accepting yourself and having a little fun. <laughs> Adab, I'm your friend Ban Alphaz. And this is 92.7 Big FM, where the Lord came from, with the Bistri Kisong. You're going to show your own show, Kuch Bhi Ke Alphaz. I play this girl named Archie in the film. She is this really vibrant girl who loves her life and who wakes up every day and decides to live every day to the fullest. And she has leukoderma, but uh, that doesn't bring her down or anything. She just uh, owns it up and goes forward and lives her life. This script came to me as a part of a script lab and I was immediately excited by the script because for me it was a genre uh, which I've not done before, like a full romance kind of a thing. But at the same time, what excited me is the character, one was of Archie, which I really loved, that the fact that she's a girl with leukodoma, which is, uh, is something that you don't usually see on screen, and how, you know, she's someone who's not full of pity, and she uses this mask of trying to, uh, you know, cover up her insecurities of yours, herself by being a very out wordly, you know, a, uh, a person who is, you know, very bold and is, she's going out to make a life for herself. At the same time, she has her insecurities. How do you choose your dates? Whatever you don't keep your profile pics, I accept them like this. And what I also really liked about the film that it is talking about the really unchanging core essence of love but set in the world of WhatsApp, Tinder, Facebook and how uh, I feel that social media or the media is have changed. There are different new ways of meeting people and but at the end of it, the core of it, what one is looking at is the same thing, you know, is an honest uh, relationship, discovering and finding the right person. And sometimes you can do it also through social media. I have done it myself. I don't use social media, so uh, <laughs> I'm not really like Archie <laughs> in that matter. <laughs> Usually people only look at the negative aspects of social media and I feel it is how you use the tool. I use WhatsApp, but I'm not on like uh, Facebook, Instagram, those things. And uh, everyone is these days, so it's very easy to understand. And also, I don't think it's a bad thing, you know. If it works for you, it does. If it doesn't work for you, it doesn't. I feel that uh, all these uh, tools that we have are made for us and how we use it is what defines it. And it's not uh, <clears throat> that this is, oh my God, there are people, I mean, there are people who are you, I mean, sometimes I myself are un uncomfortable that you're sitting and talking to someone when that person is, you know, on the, you know, maybe checking out something on WhatsApp, whatever. So it can be disruptive, but it also depends on how you use it. And that was exciting for me. For me, uh, social media has been extremely important as an independent filmmaker. In 2011, I did a film called I Am, and that was extremely difficult to get finance. And I went onto social media, especially Facebook, and uh, it was one of the largest and one of the first crowdsourced and crowdfunded uh, film. Uh, and I, for me, social media gifted me a film because about more than 400 people from 47 countries all over the world whom I couldn't have otherwise connected gifted me a film, you know. So I feel social media gifted me a film. It helps me reach out to audiences all over the world, you know. And uh, being an independent filmmaker, it becomes an important tool. Onir, the director of the film, uh, we met over, uh, we met at a cafe for, uh, to discuss the script. Only narrated the script to me and uh, the way he spoke about the film, the character, not just my character, the other characters, the relationships they have and 
he he was just so excited and he narrated the script so well so i was like please yes i want to be a part of this film anyhow and that's how i came on board uh, when reading the script actually especially uh, the ca- uh, character of archie i had seen gitanjali's films before and i really admire her as an actress and i wanted someone like her who is so full of life and you know there's something bubbly in her smile every there's this energy and positivity and i wanted archie to reflect that and uh, so i was really really you know for me she when i when i've met her for the first time and she walked into the cafeteria i was like yes yeah, she's my archie and till today i have her name saved at archie tindo archie kaise baat kar rahi hai aapko i'm so sorry i'm sorry it's a fact that आप इतफाक को मानते हैं देखा जाए तो जिंदगी की कई चीजों से ज्यादा वफादा करते हैं for the character of alfaz who is in the rj for me it was very important that he creates magic and creates story through his voice you know so someone who had a certain quality in terms of voice who understood poetry and that was important and uh, this actor had also trained i introduced him he had trained with me for 3 years so you know i uh, have been uh, kind of uh, mentoring him so i was happy that when we did the auditions and we did it for over 4 months there were a lot of people and that finally both the producers and me were happy with his uh the character of the friend he had done a small role for my first film that he did was my last film and had really liked uh, there was something very uh you know like child like about him which i really liked and i wanted to bring in that uh you know uh, aspect in this film and that's how i cast him and most of the other actors are uh like the grandfather he's a very very well known bengali actor and for me it was like a, he has worked in such a three films so i was really scared that would he just do one scene and it was a very important scene and when he said yes to it i was extremely happy similarly the mother is a very well known theater actor and i thought that you know she also had this curly hair which was similar to gitanjali and i thought that somewhere they need to have something similar and she's a great actress and i was again really really fortunate that whoever i approached to do the film and it's really funny that everyone i wanted you know kind of said yes because they could somehow relate to the film this film was like i mentioned shot in just about uh, 19 days so it was really important to do a lot of planning and how i wanted to keep uh, you know unlike a lot of my other films the tone of the film is really bright and warm you know and i worked with this uh, dop for the first time she uh, had a shot a documentary with me first and i really liked the way she shot it and i wanted somehow i don't know maybe i i hope it doesn't sound sexist but i really wanted the my team to be woman heavy so i had a woman as a dop as an editor as the stylist and uh, some of my main ads were all women because i thought i wanted a certain gentleness and uh, you know uh, to the film and i at the same time wanted to shoot it very simply with you know not where the camera movement and all is not intrusive because i'm trying to go to the core of the person so i wanted to keep it a little silent not obtrusive kind of a camera my first film when i shot that was the time when we used to shoot on film you know and there was the possibility of 25 mm you know uh, projection and now most of our theaters uh, screen cinema scope and it makes a difference in terms of how your film is perceived and reach out and for me it's important that the story i am t- wanting to tell reaches out to as many people through the cinemas also and that was the medium that's why i chose for me i have the discipline of shooting in film where every take is important because it's expensive and digital you can keep shooting but because that's already there in my habit so we really plan and do a lot of rehearsals and uh, you know at the same time i feel that today with digital it has empowered many more independent i wish if when i had started if this medium was there it i could have you know it it just gives the opportunity it's like a pen now you know slowly it's becoming as accessible so many it's making it much more democratic 
as a medium whereas also uh, you know initially one used to miss the texture of cinema but today with grading you can even get that if you want it in your film so i feel that there it is just how you again use the medium you respect the medium you respect you just you know very often even with stills people just because it's digital they keep taking and i keep saying that don't do that just you know even i when i take photos i take only few because i feel that otherwise you have so much that you don't use it and i think again it's how you use the medium respect your own time and what you're doing someone else's time and then you use it properly number se ek message aayi thi ek forward did you like it aapko kahan se mila rj alfaz ki shade aap kya karti hain low job my my job is to blow people out of their minds because the uh, role of the uh, alfaz who is the main protagonist in the film he plays an rj who uh, plays old uh, hindi songs so i decided right from the beginning that i will use original songs uh, as old songs that are classics which are which also kind of talk about heartbreaks and and at one point when he as a person opens up he plays one of uh, a song which is called pehla nasha which means the first crush kind of a thing and that Uh, when it released i was in college that uh, f- film and it was almost like an anthem for all of us uh, falling in love so i wanted to use that song as the theme song in the film and though a lot of people said remix it and make it more i i said no i think that the beauty of the song is there in the original and i wanted to use that original music in the film so a lot of the background score is also adaptations from those tunes because as an independent filmmaker my creative freedom is always important and uh, uh, luckily like the producers and this was the first time i was working uh, with a producer but they represent independent cinema and right from the beginning it was that uh, i still remember that uh, in my contract it was that the final edit has to be mine and the only condition was there that okay it won't be more than 90 minutes if it's more than 90 minutes they can tell me and i remember when i first showed them the film this can you extend this a little bit more so i was really happy that there was a producer who was not telling me to make it shorter i and then i convinced them that no this is the length it needs to be so i feel that uh, extremely lucky that as a uh, as a director the producers yudli firms who are making a lot of independent cinema also with new filmmakers they empowered me as an independent filmmaker and never felt that i was Uh, you know under any pressure from the producers indian films always have an interval point and it's primarily because the multiplexes want to send sell their popcorns and tea during that time which is a big source of income so all of our films have to have uh, an interval point sometimes it's very difficult because you don't you don't want to stop it but uh, i think it's also the audience has got used to the habit so they get restless if they don't can't go out and buy their popcorn and tea and go to and visit the restroom so we all have intervals in our life all through your life you've never claimed ownership of these poems aur aaj jab koi aur inhe phaila raha hai to hamari ghanti baj rahi hai alfaz ke sheer kisi purani kitab ki panno ki tarah hai jinki khushboo tumhe bar bar apni taraf khinchti rehti hai जो आपको वाकई में चाहता होगा ना आपको हर हाल में खूबसूरत पाएगा पहला नशा आई फिनिश शूटिंग फॉर टू फॉर दिस फिल्म कॉल्ड पेंटिंग लाइफ इट्स एन इंडियन फिल्म एंड द पोस्ट प्रोडक्शन इज ऑन राइट नाउ सो आई एम लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू दैट एंड देयर इज अनदर फिल्म कॉल्ड स्ट्रे डॉल्स एंड या आई एम लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू दैट एज़ वेल आई एम वर्किंग नाउ ऑन अ स्क्रिप्ट कॉल्ड ड्राइविंग लेसन एंड इट इज स्प्रेड ओवर 15 डेज ऑफ ड्राइविंग स्कूल वेयर uh this a girl who comes from a background of uh, ngo worker in new york meets a uh, belonging to a certain class who comes to delhi and realizes it's very difficult for a lot of women to use public transport and uh, she decides to learn driving and the teacher is from a totally different background class who looks at someone with a dark skin like oh my god who is this da you know we have this racism within our society and how these two people from two totally different social background economic background 
uh, class, everything, slowly learn from each other about accepting things about life, about respecting people and how they connect because it's a huge thing in India for someone from an upper class to be able to accept a driver as a friend and the other way too. <laughs> नहीं इंतजार होता हमसे और कल का हमें मिलना चाहिए I'm sorry I need to know whether I'm falling for you or my ideas of alphas <laughs> <laughs>